go into this room, and what do we have here? I currently only have one sponge for mopping up a puddle. So it feels like we want to de-electrify this, maybe? So yeah, if I were to sponge this, all of this would become de-electrified. I could pick this up and just walk out. Yeah, it seems like one sponge is sufficient because this is the bottleneck for all the power coming into the south portion of the cell. And one resource sounds really fantastic to me right now. Uh, if I use this, it would depower the trapdoors and I would fall and die. So I would need to spend a plank first. So it's a plank and a sponge. So now knowing that, are there any other two sets of resources that I might want to use? Perhaps involving a saw? I don't see anything different. So I think I will plank, sponge, grab my tools and go. And this brings us to the exit. And here, if I did have a plank, I would have been able to get a gun. And I do have a saw, so if I need a gun, I could probably spend a saw for it. And we never got the bricks that we needed upstairs. And, ooh, that's a thing I have never had before. So two planks, a gun, and a sponge. If I could get two planks, a gun, and a sponge, there's something very interesting. All right, but for now, we'll just continue moving downwards. Uh, two buckets of water, which I don't think helped me get any of those things anywhere upstairs, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I could use two saws. If I ever got a flame, that would work. Two water buckets could power... Uh, two water buckets here could power this, and then I would only need one plank. So yeah, I could definitely spend two saws. So let's keep that in mind and take a look at what's down here. Uh, a gun and a saw obviously would solve this. If I do a walking path through here, this turns on and things are bad. I need a plank on the way back out or I need a saw. Then this would conduct through this, but then I'd need another saw over here or something. Hmm. And another one over here in order to conduct the power. What if I walk the other way? What if I walk here, turn this on, walk here, turn this on, use a saw, walk here, turn this on, use a saw. So two saws, it looks like could solve this room. Because with all three of these down, then power would be conducted through here, through here, through here, through here, through here, and get the pressure plates. And I hold on to my gun, but guns are not that valuable because I could trade a saw for a gun already. So I think I want to just do this because I know how to obtain another gun back upstairs. So I'm going to choose to do that and take a look at these puzzles. Once again, a gun and a saw looks like it would provide a backdoor solution to this one. That looks pretty attractive to me right now. So yeah, I think I could gun and saw that just going through the concrete. And upstairs, I'm pretty sure I could still get another gun. How about in here? Uh, a single wire cutter won't deactivate all of this because there's still this. So a wire cutter and a saw. Except then the trapdoor goes down. Ah, a saw here and a wire cutter here would deactivate these wires. That's pretty cheap. I don't think I would ever be able to solve this with fewer than two resources. And I have a saw and a wire cutter right now. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's saw, wire cut, and get these three resources. Okay, one of these is a brick, 
think if I had two bricks, I could use them interestingly upstairs. So let's keep that in mind. And take a look at this crazy puzzle. Oh boy, a flame would have been useful here. I think this puzzle would involve spending more resources than I want to. I wonder if I can get a gun back upstairs and solve that other puzzle to the right. So I'm going to go back and check that out really quick. Also, did I check out whatever was to the north? I feel like I did, but I don't remember what was there. So let's take a peek at that. Ah, right, it was the two saw or a saw and a plank, or two water buckets and a plank. I've got two water buckets and a plank. Hold on. Two water buckets powers this. Plank gets me there. I'm happy with that because I don't really need those resources elsewhere. So very carefully, put a water bucket to the left. I only needed one water bucket because it's already being conducted through here. <laughs> okay, well that's even better. Um, these are two resources I'm willing to spend. And I got another brick. Okay, I have two bricks. There was something upstairs requiring two bricks. While we're here, I'm going to peek at this room. It's this crazy skidding mudding room that I don't even want to think about right now. There was definitely something upstairs that required two bricks, and I don't remember what it was. And it was like upstairs, like three floors or something. Uh, one brick would get me a gun there. Is that what I was thinking of? No, I think it was two north of here. There was a puzzle I couldn't solve. Yeah. Maybe I just needed one brick. Yeah, I just needed one brick in here to solve this puzzle. Because I can push the battering ram over to here, then push the battering ram down to here, and then throw one brick through the glass and be able to get this. I want to try this out. So, battering ram. I'm kind of sad that the battering ram doesn't make noise when you break all this glass like this, but oh well. Okay, then I'm going to spend one brick and gain a saw. All right, fair enough. Still some explosions here. I just wanted to solve that puzzle because it seemed fun. So, um, I could spend another brick on a gun and actually that would help me get through concrete, which it seems to me I needed to do somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the brick now to get the gun. So I have some concrete breakability. And then the upper right, wasn't it? I think it was this one that I could cheese with the gun and the saw. Yes. So let's cheese this puzzle with the gun and the saw. All right, I got a saw and a sponge. Fair enough, but it didn't open any other doors. So I'm guessing the exit to this one might be through the left over here. So let's try. Taking a stab at this with all the various resources that we have. I need power to be conducted in here. To do so, this has to be pressed, this has to be pressed, this has to be pressed, and this has to be pressed. So if I spent my one and only plank here, I could step on these two, cut my way into here, this would now be powered, step on this third one, and there's two more to step on. And actually, the two more to step on, I think I can already get to, question mark, because I could do this. It's going to stay powered here. I can step on that. Uh, here, no, I do need to do some sawing to get through there. Okay, so I could spend one saw there. So yeah, plank, saw, saw, and I think that's everything, and I have those resources. So... Plank, step there, step there, saw to step here, and then, oop, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, safety mode. Saw to step here, and then we open up the pathway to the goal, which is what I wanted to do. And it does give me the exit and a bonus room. Oh, the bonus room has scrap. Nice. And a fleeting memory. Nice. Okay, that was pretty good stuff. Uh, and here's the exit. And there's a shop. Let's check out the shop as well. Ooh, with a different kind of thingy. And I have two scrap. I want to unlock a new thingy. 
Tell me about the thingy. Ding, ding. Poison gas. Kill all guards in the current room. Neat. And that's an achievement. I got a steam achievement for unlocking that one. Cool. Um, can wood, the wood, can water put out mud? It cannot. I know I can sponge up the mud, so I could trade a sponge for a gun if I need it on the next level. But I guess we'll go downstairs and see if it looks like I'm going to need it on the next level. All right. So, what do we got over here? I could kill all the guards, <laughs> but I actually want them to do things on this level, I believe. Uh, if they all moved downward, they would all push their boxes into here. Oh. And then I could kill them all with my poison gas. I don't think there's a way to have all but one of them move downward and then take advantage of the hole. This seems like the perfect place to use the poison. Oh, nope. I didn't realize this was here. Okay, great. In which case, I don't need to use the poison gas. Because if I water bucket this thing and go downward, they would all push these down here. Uh, but then I couldn't make them all die in that hole. What I would want to do is walk around this way. There would be a hole here. And they would all die on this hole. Yes. And then I can walk in. Mm, I won't be able to walk in there and push this down to the final hole then, though. So if I do it this way, I'd be able to walk in without any planks, assuming all the guards are dead, and do that. But the problem is, can I get all the guards dead? I think maybe I still can, so I'm going to try it. And if not, we have the poison gas as a backup. So I think if I do this, that happens. Then I can walk back up here. We'll figure out how to get those guys in a little bit. Oh no, they pushed that thing! Uh, crap. Now I can't kill them. <sighs> Alright, uh, I guess we're using the poison gas, so we get a chance to try it out. Um, I forgot that that was going to happen. I was thinking I was going to kill these guys in this hole and then walk them back out, but yeah. All right, poison gas. Let's see how it goes. It doesn't even make a sound. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But it did kill them all, and we solved the room. And we got a chance to use a new super tool that we had unlocked. So hooray for that. Uh, what do we have here? I see a way to cheese it with a gun and a saw, which I'm very tempted to do, but let's take a look at the puzzle. I can safely walk in here and toggle this and just kind of witness what's happening. So let's do so. I powered half of this AND gate. How do I power the other half? I would need this turned on. Looks like if I water bucket this power source, unfortunately that would turn this off. If I wire snip something, something, I need this on. I think I would have to saw and water bucket to conduct power this way, through here and through here. So that would be a saw and a water bucket. Or there's a gun and a saw. I'm just going to use the gun and the saw because I'm pretty sure I will be able to get another saw upstairs if I'm desperate for it. Because I'm pretty sure there's still some upstairs somewhere. So let's go ahead and unlock this. I can go north or east. Wowie gazowie. It looks like I'm going to need multiple bricks to do anything interesting in this room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would need at least two bricks to do anything interesting. If I did a brick here and a brick here, I could turn these on, conduct power through here, except this wouldn't be up still. Three bricks could definitely solve this, and perhaps some other things. Well, let's check out the other puzzle over here. Once again, I could use gun saw to cheese it. Otherwise... These are just pits. These are trapdoors. 
powering this. Looks plausible. But if I turn all these on, this would go off. So I'd need to like sidestep the sky so that this was off, but the other two were on. But assuming I could successfully dance the zombie like that, he would eventually die in some pits. And then this would be on, this would be on, this would not be on because I would have cut the power to the doorway, which would cut the power to here. And since it's not flowing through here, uh, that does not look like it's going to work. So yeah, I definitely think I want to gun saw. And since I'm going to be short on guns, I only need one gun in this room, though. I need to remember that I have the fleeting memory because <laughs> my memory is fleeting. And I'd forgotten about it. Okay, right, that was the place where we need more bricks. So let's go back upstairs and find at least one gun and solve a puzzle that way. Uh, here's at least one gun. I could trade a sponge for it. I haven't seen a need for a sponge anywhere else interesting recently. Um, so let's sponge this up. Wasn't there somewhere upstairs where I could wire cutter and possibly get like two... Or was that in the previous puzzle? Yeah, I think that was in the one that I previously died on. Well, since I'm all the way up here, it looks like I could sponge over here and get a gun as well. So let's sponge this, get a gun, go back downstairs, shoot my way through the concrete in the room on the right, uh, which is to say over here, and see if it gives us any good progress. So yeah, you stay locked in there, Mr. Guard. I will go. Kablam. Kablam. Three bricks. Okay, I definitely solved that puzzle to the north. Um, do I want to solve that puzzle to the north and spend so many bricks, or do I just want to carry the bricks down with me? That's a question that I'm not sure I know the answer to. I also, what floor am I on? If I go all the way to the top. This seems to be the first floor. So this is floor two. There was a shop where I could buy another fleeting memory. That's at least interesting. And then possibly unlock that thing if I can get some planks and a sponge. And that seems less likely. Uh, this is floor three, I think. There's a shop here that I already bought, right? And this is floor four. And there's a shop here where I could spend a whole bunch of resources that I don't currently have to get a phoenix feather. So yeah, I think let's just go downstairs, and this is still just floor five. All right, and ooh, this is almost what I needed to purchase the phoenix feather, I think, actually. Um, and also, what did I need in that other shop? I just want to take a look. Um, so this shop is the one that I wanted to recheck. To earn this thing, I need two planks, a gun, and a sponge. I have two planks, I don't have the gun, and I don't have the sponge. I could get the gun. Um, I could probably get the gun right here. I'm going to do it. Oops. All right, so if I uncover a sponge and keep my planks, I think I could uh, purchase a new super duper weapon. So my new goal is to solve a puzzle that gets me a sponge somewhere in this floor. Okay. Oh boy. Um... If I stand here and chop this wire, this would go down, but then also these would go down. 
And also, I'm still not sure how I'm getting through here. Yeah, this is electrified. Well, I could chop the wire here as well. So two wire cutters and a plank. And I wanted to hold on to the plank, ideally. But this is the only puzzle that I can use to advance. So I'm going to have to solve this. Can I do it with less than two wire cutters and a plank? I definitely need a wire cutter to get through here. And I definitely need a wire cutter to get through the door. And then I'm definitely going to need a plank to get back out. The other alternative is a gun and a saw. And I can probably still get another gun in one of the upstairs things. So I'm going to choose to do the gun and the saw and spend fewer resources. All right, two water buckets and a brick. Let's see. Let's try to at least get to the exit of this floor. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So I need to power this and then put a water bucket here, which will open up this. And then another water bucket over here would open up the gate is what I'm seeing. So let's try stepping on these. And I will be able to use the box to hold down one of them and then probably need a brick somewhere, but do any combination of these two possibly cause things to light up? And if not, then let's imagine that bricks are going to be able to, even with all three, it's still not lit up. Why? I think I tried all the combinations of two. Uh, crap. And I need to solve this puzzle to advance. Not good. I tried all the combinations of one. I tried all the combinations of two. I tried, mm. So none of these combinations seem to work. So I think I need to cut this open and see if there's somewhere that I can use a water bucket inside of here. I am very scared of this, but I'm going to try it. Okay, the answer is, crap, I needed this one off. And I need this one on. And then I still don't know what's happening in here. Okay. So unfortunately, I put my brick here, so I wasted a resource, and now I have to... Rewaste it like that. That turns. Oh, that did turn this on. Maybe it did turn on and I didn't notice. Crap. Or maybe I forgot to try the combination of just the south and the north being held down. So unfortunately, I wasted some resources there. Um, now I need to leave a brick here. And then I'm going to place a water bucket to my north. That's going to power all of this. And then to unlock the door, I'm going to put a water bucket here. And that causes the not gate to trigger, and this goes open, and I get some more resources, so hopefully I still have enough. And so for here... And I need to remember my fleeting memory. That's going to be potentially very important. Um, I could go skittering across the mud to my death. If I go upstairs and get a gun, I could probably cheese it. Let's just remember that. I could use the fleeting memory on a gun in two different rooms, perhaps. So in this room, a gun and a saw and a plank would get me there directly. A plank could power this. Maybe if power, I'd also need to power this. I could throw a brick here. I could throw a brick here. I could plank over to it. So brick, brick, plank, it looks like, would solve this. And I am holding a lot of bricks right now. Is there any way to do better? Could also plank. If I water bucket this and walk out this way, yeah, that's pretty good. So, plank, 
water bucket to power this. Wait, why would I want to do that? I already put a plank there, so I don't need that, right? Well, it would save me a brick over here. But yeah, either way, I need to get into here, which seems like it's going to require a plank. Okay, I think brick, brick, plank would do this. So let's go ahead and throw a brick onto here. Throw a brick onto here. Actually, I could just step over there after using the plank, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's do the plank first in case I can save myself the brick. Okay, so I walk over here. I wanted to turn this on. Basically, I've gotten the option to use the water bucket instead of the brick. And I currently have three water buckets and only two bricks. So I think if I water bucket here to the left, that will activate these trap doors. And then I could walk onto here rather than heave a brick onto it. That all looks correct. So I choose to do that. All right, then I can step on here and then we can get to the toolbox. Three saws, very nice. The only way to progress apparently is this room to the north. So let's go check it out again. A gun would make this so much easier. Um, let's go see if we can get a gun because I don't immediately see any other way to do that right now. So let's head back upstairs and find myself a gun. Uh, lots of guns everywhere. I could afford to use a brick. I'm not sure I can afford to use a plank. I could probably afford to use a bucket of water. I also have a bucket of water in my fleeting memory right now, but I think I'd prefer to possibly use the gun in a fleeting memory in the future. So I think I'm going to, and I could cut a wire. I've got a bunch of wire cutters. Let's use a wire cutter. So I'm gonna wire cut this, trade it for a gun, and then head back downstairs and solve that puzzle with a gun and a saw. All right, so that puzzle is up here. Gun and the saw will be used right here. There's no way to get a second gun out of fleeting memory right now because I need the saw immediately afterwards. All right, but I did get another gun and two planks and a brick. That's pretty great. Oh, and the opportunity to get three guns. <gasps> three guns for three bricks. Oh, that's pretty exciting. And I could even hold on to one of the bricks if I wanted to use my fleeting memory. This is going to go down to the bottom floor. Uh, so no chance to go back. And I think I've done... I didn't have a sponge, which is going to be the other interesting thing to open up that other shop, right? Let me just double check that one shop that had the item that we had never seen before. Yes, it requires a sponge. And I don't know where I could obtain a sponge. Unless it's in the upper right puzzle over here. Let me go check. So I'm just coming back to this puzzle, and I could saw plank saw, and if it contained a sponge, um, then that would be pretty great. Is there anything better I could do? I've got lots of saws and planks. I'm going to try, I'm going to take a risk and do a saw plank saw. I did not get a sponge. I got a brick and a wire cutter. All right, I took a risk. Didn't work out. That's fine. I happen to have four bricks and I'd left this other puzzle behind. And I know definitely that two bricks here would let me step on all of these. It would let me get into here. And then I could brick into here and turn these on. Yeah, three bricks would solve this puzzle. And since I have so many bricks, I think I'm going to try it. 
So let's conduct some electricity. Uh, oh no! Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I was thinking I broke the wire that I needed, but I didn't. It's fine. There we go. Okay. And that also did not give me a sponge. All right. I tried a bunch of stuff in order to try to unlock the new super weapon, but I wasn't able to do it on this run. So let's see if we can finish the run. This has been a very long play session. Um, oh, and I lost my chance to do the three bricks for three guns, uh, but I think I'm okay with that. Right now I have two bricks and there's nothing else I could do with that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, three guns would be nice, but I can move that. Okay, let's go. Down into the basement. The floor gets out from under us. We get some scrap metal for getting down here. Let's make sure we don't cut off the only door. Okay, uh, this is the dolly once again, and we still can't afford it. We'd have to save up our scrap rather than buying things at each opportunity. Uh, in this room, I have many wire cutters. So let's keep that in mind. So for example, I could walk over here, cut this wire. That would give me an opportunity to walk in here. Walking out, however, not so easy. Also, I can't step on the pressure plates, but I could heave bricks onto them. And so suppose I heaved a brick from here onto this pressure plate, that would turn on this. That would enable me to walk in here, grab the toolbox, and then what? Then I could step here, step here, cut the wire, and get out. That seems good. One brick to solve this room seems... Oh dear. Uh, I'm okay. Um, I realize I can walk across this wire, but it just occurred to me that I didn't think about all the places I would need to step over my own previous path. Okay, so then I'm going to snip the wire here and walk out and get to the next room. Okay, so that's one down. Let's think very carefully about these. I've seen this room before. I do have saws and I need to remember that I have fleeting memory in case it is going to help me. I would need to cut some power in here. So if I simply walked in here, cut all the power by destroying the power source, then I would need a plank, of which I have many, but I would need to saw, plank, and that's it. I have plenty of saws and planks. That seems just fine. Because I definitely need to cut the power to get this down, and once I walk in here, I'm uh, committed to spending a saw. Yes, yes. And I want to hold on to my gun. That's the other possibility to break through the concrete. Okay, so I'm happy enough with that. So, saw. Plank. And we have that solved. Now we exit to the south. What is next? Oh, I saw this room. It might have been off camera. I screwed it up, but I do think I know how to solve it. So we need to use not gates to like explode things. So the idea is that I want to send power through the wire right here while there is a bomb box sitting there. But as I walk different places, the floor is going to disappear beneath my feet, and that makes things very complicated. So suppose I walked over here, destroyed this knot gate, pushed this here, and then up into that position. Then I would no longer be able to activate the wire here because it's always coming from this side. Okay. I want to explode it here because then that allows me to walk in here, get that, get back out, and then have to use one or zero planks to be able to walk out. Suppose instead, 
if I were to cut both of these south power bits, then that would turn on this wire. However, it would also blow up both of these. And blowing up those blows up the ability to get at my wire, which is no good. So I need to move one of these here and also in a way that it doesn't blow up the other bit. Alternatively, is there an alternatively? Can I come around this side and do anything clever like with this one? Anything I walk through here is either going to destroy my ability to power the wire or immediately explode it. So I don't think I can walk on the left hand side. Um, so I do think I need to come through here. If I destroy this, nothing happens. This knot stays on for the moment. But when I destroy this knot gate, that's when it's going to trigger all this stuff. So here's an idea. What if I walk around here, walk over the south knot gate, which doesn't have any immediate effect, walk around here, push this guy to the north and here and here and up into here. Then the problem is the act of destroying this knot gate blows me up. I need to have this guy out of the way first. What if I pushed him one to the north? Okay, so walk around here, push this thing carefully into place up here. Then go, I don't have space to go back here. I could walk across this. Yeah, I could walk across this. Push this across the knot gate, which is fine. I don't think that blows it up. Push it again, that's going to destroy the knot gate. That will blow up this and this. I don't think. I presume they both go off simultaneously, and so the fact that this is blowing up isn't a hindrance. I think that could work. I think that could work. And so let's try it very carefully. Okay, this is terrifying. So I want to walk across here first. This part is safe. I need to gently push this guy up into the top. If I walk around and push him to the right, I can't push him to the north. So I need to push him further to the north, then here, then here. He's in a place where I can activate him now. Then I want to come down here, destroy this so that this won't go off. And then when I destroy this knot gate, both this one and this one should explode simultaneously. Uh, pushing that onto the knot gate blew it up. So I was wrong. Pushing. Oh, because the knot gate powered to the north, and since this was powered, it powered the bomb. Darn. I understand now how the electricity flow worked in that situation, but I didn't see it coming. Well, that's a shame. Uh, but we did get very far, so I feel pretty good about it. Uh, and we unlocked uh, a new thingy, which I already forgot what it was. So let's go back and take a look at what it was. Right, the poison gas, which kills all the uh, guards in the room. So we've managed to unlock four of these things in the bottom. Still haven't found where we can cut out players out of cells or whatever. Um, but hopefully we'll eventually figure that out. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon with more Herman Electro. For now, bye-bye.